next um, garden update, back garden update, uh, 16th, I believe it's the 16th of um, May 2015. It's nice ornamental um, allium and some of my perennial, um, perennial salad leaves and, uh, and things. Things are moving along in the garden, nice weather. A ton of cherries in these in this tree. bearing because last year it was very few cherries, barely ate any at all, and the year before masses and masses. And uh, this is where all the broccoli was, uh, well, up to yesterday. Uh, cut it all down, make space for um, tomatoes and so on in the summer. Summer crops, Got some peas going. Uh, uh, Poirot Perpetuel, which is a uh, French mini leek, uh, perennial one. Got Welsh onions. Got any giant um, broad beans in, in uh, southern England. We're able to overwinter these. So, I, uh, so we get an extra early uh, crop. And, uh, oh, I've got some poppies as well. And, uh, Hardening things off in the cold frame, you know, squashes and tomatoes, so on, sweet corn, Egyptian onions. Yeah, if you see the like flowering bits, you get um, little onion sets on the top, lots and lots of them, which you can replant. You can eat them like pickled onions, little silver skin jobs. Peas are coming along. These are Kelvedon Wonder. They, um, they're flowering now, so I should be getting peas really soon. And more Egyptian onions and there be garlic. These are looking all right. Again, these are overwintered. Over this side, we've got elephant garlic, which are much bigger. Uh, they're not as tasty. You can't fry them, but they um, they're, they're good in stews. More. Um, Ornamental, I mean that's a pretty colour. Uh, ornamental williams with uh, garlic between them. Now <laughs> more beans. So these were planted in, um, sown in, oh god it was, it was early autumn. And look what's happened, we've got, we're about to crop them and this is sort of middle of May. So uh, I'm very pleased with that. They're pretty hardy. We've got some peas, uh, tall ones these, called Shiraz. And they've got purple, I don't know whether you can see the purple, I'll turn it around a bit. Yeah, see look, there's, there's purple, purple flowers. That's obviously the reason why I've sown them. Uh, I want a garden full of pretty, uh, pretty vegetables. It is, uh, uh, so they're Monge TP, they grow about um, five feet tall. They're coming along nicely as well. It's come free. Good for the mulch. Broccoli's over. This is a uh, nine star broccoli. Now, last year this wanted to die. Um, about this time. It has been heavily attacked by slugs. Snails, they hide up in the top. But last year this was all going brown and it's uh, surviving uh, reasonably well. That's Lovage there, that giant there. He's going to be enormous because it's his second year. That's uh, a herb. Hold on, I've got a trespasser in the, uh, trespasser in the garden. I better go and sort that out. <laughs> they, uh, got some potatoes in the pot. And uh, uh, Japanese bunching onions. We've got the, well, what the Americans call tree collard. It's, uh, in this country, it's uh, tree kale. This is uh, Taunton Dean. Another one over here. Never flowers. It's perennial, grows really tall. You uh, propagate by cuttings. We've got mint, a rose, my pear. 
that's about it. See you later.